realized over the matter which went into the stars and stripes. It always was entirely for and by the soldier. This policy, Marshall declared, is to govern the conduct of the new publication. A soldier's newspaper in these grave times is more than a morale venture. It is a symbol of the things we are fighting to preserve and spread in this threatened world. It represents the free thought and free expression of a free people. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. The end of war found the Stars and Stripes performing its task for the American troops remaining overseas. This Darmstadt plant services major troop centers in Europe and Africa and its distribution department carries magazines and papers published at home. About this, um, Reagan got to Tempelhof Airport and there were like 20,000, uh, I mean, there were a lot of Americans there, but a lot of Ger you know, West Berliners too, and all waving the American and West German flag to greet him. But there were also thousands of anti-American protesters around the city, and that was part of what, we knew that was gonna be happening. And that was part of what we wanted to cover, why we sent several people. We had people running around to different parts of the city, just sort of checking things out and covering what was going on. ...full sight of the enemy's watchtowers. For this field is at the edge of a city whose outer perimeter is defined by barbed wire and across whose face runs a wall of stone dividing the city in two, etching it indelibly on the consciousness and the conscience of the world. tonight from Berlin from the Berlin Wall specifically take a look at them they've been there since last night they are here in the thousands they are here in the tens of thousands occasionally they shout die Mauer muss weg the wall must go thousands and thousands of West Germans come to make the point that the wall has suddenly become irrelevant something as you can see almost a party on how do you measure such an astonishing moment in history And for me, my time at the Stars and Stripes is really some of the most uh, formative years of my life. Um, I, I so appreciate everything that, that that Stars and Stripes has done for me. I mean, I've made so many great friends. I, I've, I still contact so many people, uh, we're, we're friends on social media, but it just gave me so many experiences that, that I never would have had before. And for me, you know, a, a little kid from nowhere to like experience you know, all these high level things for a daily newspaper like the Stars and Strips was just mind boggling. It was really amazing to me. So, you know, I am still amazed. I have to kind of pinch myself because I, I didn't really understand even now the gravity of what I was witnessing. Germany's leader, Egon Krenz, put it, East Germans could enjoy their newfound freedom. And enjoying it they are. They're still flocking to the wall and to the Brandenburg Gate standing on top of the wall to taunt the stony-faced East German border guards. You know, people were everywhere. They were just wide-eyed and bushy-tailed, and they just, people would, they crossed the border and they were wide-eyed, and they were excited. They was like, they, it was like they had nothing they'd ever seen before. There were other strange happenings too, spontaneous acts of high-spirited foolishness. The flood was too much for the hapless East German border guards, at Checkpoint Charlie, they were swamped. They simply gave up, opened the gates, and allowed thousands through the one crossing point that had remained firmly closed. Still about, wow, this is how the other half lives. Elsewhere, they were swarming over the wall, 
hacking at it with hammers, picks and chisels, clawing at it with bare hands. The East Germans don't seem to have guards enough to plug every hole. When a soldier's attention is diverted by others, a hole is cut in the barbed wire and Khrushchev's face is slapped again. Stop till we get to Berlin.